Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at a number of ways that you can split a line in Adobe Illustrator. Every one of these objects here is a line. This one's got three anchor points on it, one at each end and in the middle. All the rest are just straight lines. None of them have fills. I'm going to select over this line. The first tool that's available is the eraser tool. It shares a toolbar position with scissors and knife tool, which we're going to have a look at in just a minute. With the eraser tool, you can just select on a line and drag through it, and that will create two individual lines. Also, sharing that toolbar position is the scissors tool. That's a nice handy tool. You can just click at any point on a line and you will add an anchor point. Well, actually add two anchor points because you end up with two individual lines here split at the point that you clicked. You might be tempted to also use the knife tool. Unfortunately, the knife tool does not work on lines. It does, however, work on filled paths. So here we could go to Object Expand and just expand this shape, and then we could use the knife tool on it to split it into two pieces. You may have to ungroup it because it may be still stuck together in a group, but you'll end up with two pieces. Notice that with the knife tool, if you draw through the shape using a wiggly line, then you're going to get a wiggly line cut as a result. With this shape that's got three anchor points, we can select the anchor point that we want to split at. Obviously, it would be this one here. With that anchor point selected up here on the toolbar is an option that says cut path at selected anchor points. When I do that, I'll end up with two individual lines here. You would do that in preference to the option for deleting an anchor point because that's going to just destroy the line. So just be aware that the cut path at selected anchor point is your preferred operation here. Now the other way that you can cut a line is using the Shape Builder tool. For example, if I wanted this line to sit inside a circle, so I'm just drawing a circle here. If I want this line to be just across the circle, I can select both shapes, go to the Shape Builder tool, on the PC, I'll hold down the Alt key. On a Mac, I'll hold down the Option key and just drag through the line that I want to remove or the portions of the line that I want to remove. And now I have a line that has been cut to the diameter or the approximate diameter of the circle. There are a lot of potential options here and which you choose is going to depend on what it is you want to have as your result. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.